sponsored by Wiggins hair and I'm rocking their chestnut body wave wig okay 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 girl get into it so if you're new to my channel hey welcome click the subscribe button and the notification button which is the low bar honey for no one I post and if you're a returning subscriber hey what it do what it is <laughs> I know that's right I know that's right so guys I'm going to be installing this wig showing you guys how I install my wigs and how I make them look like this so if you like what you see and you really want to learn how I install my wigs stay tuned and watch the video the description box has got the discount code the link to this exact wig the link to the store and any other information that you guys will want to know will be down below in the description box so um yeah i don't think there's much for me to say i'm literally just going to be installing this wig in this video so without further ado let's jump straight into the video darling mm. absolutely loving it i'm stressing out for anything <laughs> Wow, this wig color. So, what do you think is a bit too? No, 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 it's better than the blonde. Yeah. But the blonde is too well. I think I like this one more. That's why even when yeah, it's yeah, yes, that's what I was about to say. That's why when I want to change the color of the blonde. Okay, anyway. Let's get to styling. Oh, Jenny, this thing of yours is so complicated. What is this? This hot comb. Did you put it on highly? I did. Oh my gosh, this color! I literally did a hair video before this and I told myself I'm going to install this one last because I'm loving it and I'm going to want to wear it for the next coming few days and that is why I'm installing it now but anyway so I'm going to be showing you guys how I install my wigs not that you guys don't know but we're just going to make it more detailed this time just so you guys know how I do it okay so first thing I do is, like you saw now, I hot comb the hair back just so that I have a clear vision of what I'm about to do with the lace and like gluing it down and all of that. So yeah, as you can see all the hair is back. So let's tie the hair back. So next step, I really prefer you cut the lace by the ear for the first few steps because I don't know, it would just make, th make things easier for you when it comes to the installation process. So we're just going to cut where your ear begins and you're just going to do that. It's okay if you cut a bit of hair, it's more than okay. Guys, my scissors are so blunt, but hey. Okay. 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 okay, there we go. So, this is how it looks, and I'm able to push my hair behind my ear. And as you guys know, I don't know if you guys have this struggle, but like when I need to wear a mask with a wig on, it's been so difficult for me because I don't do this process when installing wigs. So doing it has really helped me when it comes to putting on my masks because 
that lace that's blocking your ear that's blocking the mask from going around your ear you're cutting it now so that's what's happening okay so same on this side we've got some room for the ear and this is how it looks so from here we're going to just position the wig where you want it some people like their wig way too forward some people like their wig way too back but i've got a big forehead so i like it a bit more forward so that's what i'm going to do so i've positioned it and i'm happy with the positioning of the hairline so whatever glue you use if you use ghost bond you're going to lift your wig and then like line it according to the hairline of the wig but because I'm using got to be spray, I'm just going to do that. I don't even know why I'm using got to be spray glue because I want this wig to stay on for a long time. And you guys know got to be ain't that strong, but it's okay. It's all right. Okay. Now that that's done, you are going to take something to tie your edges around so that your hair can dry. I don't know how I'm going to style this hair, if I'm going to recurl it or I don't know. Let me show you guys how it looks at the back. Let me just sort this out. Or maybe I should just put mousse and keep it going. But let me show you guys how it looks. Cute, right? So cute. Also, are we doing a side part? Are we doing a middle part? I think middle parting. Yeah. Like guys, is this way for me? <laughs> Yo, I'm in love. This week, I'm going to warm up the curler, and I'm gonna listen to some jams with my girl while curling my hair because you guys know how long the curling process takes. And then straight from curling, we're gonna go back to the tutorial on how to lay your wig. Okay. <laughs> Give a fuck about a nigga. Big broken bag, hold five, six figures. Rocks on my ass, so we call it pussy tigger. Fucking on a scamming ass, rich ass nigga. Same group of bitches, ain't no ass to the picture. Trap a couple rats, right, but his ass get thicker. Tricking on licking, I'm licking at your nigga. If this money right, you can eat it like a sticker. I ain't got time for these fake ass hoes. Talking all loud and I'm fake ass clothes. Fake ass shoes, with that fake ass cold. I'm the realest bitch ever seen snake ass hoes. Nothing about me, I don't like them strong curls. Also, I don't want anything that will mess up the length of the wig. Okay, so time to cut. So I suggest you cut in sections. So open one section and then the second section and the third section. Just to make it easier for you when you cut the lace. We're just always cutting the lace when it comes to installing wigs. So you're going to cut along. 
I'm so glad these scissors are behaving today. Done. This is why I recommended that you cut in sections so that you can do it perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but makes it easier. It honestly really does make it easier. And the last part. You wanna cut again. Now, as you can see, it looks a bit shabby. <laughs> Very shabby. So you're gonna go again with your got to be spray glue or whatever glue that you're using. And you're going to go over the hairline once again. Over the hairline. And it's basically the same process. You're going to tie it up. And keep it in till it's dry. Or you can hair dry it. But for me, I feel like hair drying the lace makes it white. So, perfect. So... We're gonna just tie it up like that and I'm gonna make it thin so that I can work on the hairline not the hairline but the parting okay now we're gonna open the line personally I'm very bad at this step because I struggle to find the middle in the middle You know what? Let's just try. This part gives me anxiety. I ain't even gonna lie. Cause also like once I part, I plug so that it looks more natural. And then eventually I find out that I did not actually part it in the middle middle. Okay. I wish I had those metal ones. Once I open my parting, we're gonna take some wax. We're just gonna put it on the parting line so that it's nice and flat and it's not bumpy and crunky. And I'm gonna spray some water. I don't know what it is about me, but after putting on wax, I like to spray some water. I don't know, just for control. So that's what we're gonna do. Right, I think my line is not too bad here. Then we're going to retouch the sides. Also, I don't know if I'm going to do baby hairs. But baby hairs you can always do after everything. So it's not a problem. Guys, I'm trying to make this wig look like I went to go get it installed. Okay? Period. Woo! Damn, daddy! This wig is giving me life. Let me recurl this part because now we're gonna take out the band. Even though I feel like it's a bit too early, but let's just do it. Okay, mama. All right, so this is how it looks. I'm just gonna put some makeup on it and then I actually I'm gonna put on makeup on my face so you guys are just gonna have to wait for me to put on makeup should we do edges guys friends should we do edges no okay. let's not do edges I'm gonna put on makeup so don't worry about this let's keep it clean let's keep it clean for today because also me, I'm a bit rough when it comes to the edges. Voila! This is me in the flesh, guys. Yes, it's me. It's your girl. Let me zoom out so you guys can see them inches, okay? Y'all really need to see the inches. They probably don't even show in the whole entire screen. 
because that's just how long this wig is so this wig is if i'm not mistaken 24 inches and yeah it is a body wave as you can see i did recurl it as you guys saw in the video if you guys like what you see you like the wig you want to get it yourself guys i really like this color okay looks good on your dark honeys looks good on your light skin honeys this wig is just for everybody, you know? So if you really like this wig, you're not too sure if the color is going to suit you. I'm telling you now that this color is going to look very great on you, okay? So go grab that discount code in the description box and get 10% off for your purchase. And, you know, just slay like other girls in the streets. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And thank you, Wiggins, here for sponsoring this video. I must say this is my absolute favorite. I am not even going to lie. I know this I say this in every single video. But this this one is my favorite one definitely my favorite one my number one wig y'all ain't touching this wig okay it is staying in my cupboard child but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you lovely honeys in my next video